Hello, good afternoon. I'm Justin, one of the ministers at St George and St Paul's Church in Tiverton. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced the roadmap for us to transition out of lockdown. Transition. Transition is really important. Does anyone know about um, triathlons? Triathlons are where you swim and then you cycle and then you run. And the transitions between each of those elements is fundamentally important. A race can be won or lost. When you come out the swimming, at, coming out the swimming leg, you have to take off your wetsuit and then you go into the bike transition area Find your, find your trainers, make sure you've got all the right kit and make sure everything's all secure and your helmet's on before you step out of that transition area. If you leave there without having your helmet on, you're, you're disqualified. And then after you've done the cycle circuit, you go into, you stack your bike again in the right place. You could waste minutes trying to find your bike before then locating your trainers, managing to get them on with water, sweat, trying to pull them on and then go on to the running leg. And all that build up of fatigue. Transitions are so important. There's distractions in transition. You can try to get into the, the next stage too fast. You're vulnerable in transition, vulnerable to disqualification. Is that not so relevant to our situation today? Transition. Trying to get from A to B as quickly as possible, but as safely as possible. We don't want to be disqualified in the race. You know, we'd do well to follow the transitions in the Bible. They were places of transformation. Look at Paul on the Damascus Road. Look at the Israelites crossing the Red Sea. Look at the cross. Jesus Christ, those three days of quiet, uncertainty, fear. And then he rose again. And then look at the transition from Ascension to Pentecost. Jesus ascending back to heaven to be at the right hand of God the Father. And the promise that the Holy Spirit would be poured out upon the believers. But they had to wait. Wait 10 days in transition. And what did they do in transition? They prayed and they prayed and they prayed and they waited there. Waited to begin their commission. To go and make disciples of nations. But first to wait for the outpouring of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Which as Jesus promised came on that Pentecost Sunday and many believers, many hundreds of believers were filled with the Holy Spirit. That's a promise for us today. For those who accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour, we receive that same Holy Spirit. Transitions can be unstable and uncertain, but they are also a place of opportunity in that waiting. There are places of transformation. God is there ready to meet us in the transition. Transitions. Have a great day.